So, this is a little bit of an aside, but it's a very important one. And it is a consequence of the last problem we did. So let's read it over. Similar triangles frequently pop up in problems with right angles. The diagram in the previous problem shows a common way this occurs. Make sure we see that ABD is similar to BCD, which is similar to ACB. Now, we proved easily that ABD is similar to ACB, and we did show that BCD is also similar. But how do we know that, in fact, that these two must also be similar? Aside from like the basic logic that, well, if they're similar to the third thing, they should probably be similar to each other. But let's actually demonstrate why. So one way to do this is let's actually kind of separate our triangles out a little bit. So I'm going to create a diagram uh, I should probably keep it the same color let's do it like that and I'm going to actually rewrite the triangles we were using starting with ADB and then I am going to write a slightly bigger because it seems to be slightly bigger version of BDC so that looks something like eh, probably like this what it doesn't have to be perfect but it's going to get the point across so let's label some points in adb the right angle is located at that point d so at the point d we have that right angle and if we go upward we have a that is this part right here that I just demonstrated so now the final point must hence be B and that should make sense since well DB seems to be a lot longer than AD so it, it matches up in our diagram so far. Now, oh, didn't want all that to go away, but it is what it is. Okay, so now what? Now let's look at the triangle BDC. Well, again, D contains that right angle here and the shorter side the one that's going up is the B here and then we have C on that very end and hopefully you can all see even though the the scale might be a little messed up uh, let's see if we can fix it a little bit let's make this a little bit smaller because we want to show that DC is the larger of the sides. There we go. And now we can see roughly how all these triangles kind of line up with ABC. And in fact, I'm going to get rid of some of all that extra fluffy part just to show you that direct comparison to ABC without the extra information so well what can I show from here well obviously they all have 90 degree angles and we realize that they both ABC and ADB share an A that's where we get the similarity triangle A D B is similar to triangle A, B, C because of the fact that they both share the angle A and they both have that 90 degree angle. Now 
logically we have that all the interior angles of a triangle must in fact add up to 180 so well and so these two angles here and here must be the same have to be so what else can I show with that well now let's look at BDC well BDC has that right angle with ABC and they both share the angle at C so I'm gonna mark that with two because I put two tick marks over here to signify this angle C and this angle C so we came up with that similarity statement B D C is similar to triangle A oh, A B C well this gets us an interesting result because this angle C in ABC matches up with the C in BDC and since they both have 90 degree angles that last remaining angle the one at A in ABC and the one at B in BDC must be the same because they all add up to 180 so this has to have the same length too now what do you know ADB and BDC have the same angles and hence have angle angle similarity that is how we can definitely be sure that these two triangles are in fact similar as well in fact all three triangles if we look in this previous this was the previous problem we did all three triangles contained in that problem are similar to each other by the logic that we just explained here and that is going to be very important and if you can understand how that works you have pretty much mastered angle angle similarity at this point